Hi, my friends. Welcome to the Diamond Painting Effect with Corey. I'm Corey, and today is another stitch with me, and it is Sampler September. I am doing Sampler September with Ava over at Stitching in the Inner Lake. If y'all haven't checked her channel out, y'all need to go see her. She posts every day a video, a stitch with me. So um, she started doing a monthly challenge and I have joined her on the challenge because they're fun. <laughs> and um, I, I am house sitting and I wasn't thinking when I packed up all my stuff, I wanted to do a different sampler, you know, every week, just, just to work on a different sampler. And I, I just didn't think about that when I was packing my, when I chose what I brought. I was trying to not bring too much stuff because in the past I do that. I bring so much stuff. I don't do anything with it. And then I ended up having to pack it up and haul it all back home. So what I do have with me are some patterns that I, I went, I went and looked at what I have with me. And um, I didn't bring the flosses to kit them up. So, but the, here are some of the samplers I might have worked on uh, if I had brought my stuff. Um, this one is one that I I got from mybobbin.com, and I don't even remember what they called it. Uh, let's see, it's called the honey sampler, is what it's called. So anyway, so that's, I thought that was a really cute one over there at my bobbin. Um, this is one that I am working on and I did bring the stuff, but it is also a counted cross stitch and I don't, I don't, I, for videos, I just don't have the confidence to do a counted cross stitch on a, on a stitch with me yet. So, but this is part two that I've gotten and I'm working here. I'll just go ahead and show you how my progress on it. I took it out of the hoop last night. But this is my progress on, on the Anna Green Gables stitch along. And I am enjoying this one. This one's easy. I mean, I'm not saying I don't make mistakes, but um, I have this blue strip right here. I probably did it a three times in total as much as I took out but I I've gotten into the groove of it and it's I just I'm just really enjoying working on it and so it looks like I'm almost done with the top part the, the first third of it but there's still a lot to go there's a lot of colors in here and across here that still need to go in so that's my Anna Grigdanfo sampler. And here's another B sampler. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember where I got this. Did I, get it? I can't remember if I got it off of Etsy or what. Anyway, so that that's another sampler that I could work on. So those are the fun ones. I enjoy samplers and this is the one that I'm going to stitch on today. This is summertime. It's a Joy Sunday kit that I got from from VIP Cross Stitch. It is and it, it's a 38 by 49 centimeter and it's 14 count and I'm using the called for two strands on it. Um, I I think I started this I think I started this. Did I start this with you guys last week? I don't remember. But anyway, maybe it was two weeks ago already. How long have we been <laughs> working on this one? I'd have to go back and look at my videos. <clears throat> I did finish the... There was a symbol, this symbol right here for number 25. I did finish, I hope, that symbol was a dark blue color. Oh, look at all my injuries, you guys. I have gotten so many injuries. So, all this dark blue is what I've done. 
and I need to get my needle ready and then we'll start stitching. I'll be right back. Okay, the color that I have chosen to do is this symbol right here. It's color number nine in the kick and it's a DMC 606. So, and it is this red color. And um, there's quite a bit through here. I think that's one of the larger amounts of colors in the kit. So anyway, this is how I, for you guys that are new, this is how I do my kits up. I do them on blush drops. I make my own blush drops from these tags. Um, these are the cheapest kind of tags to get if you get the craft kind. But um, I really prefer the white ones. But I bought a whole, I, I think I got like 600 of these for the same price as 200 of the other. And so that's all I have left right now. So that's how I kit it up with that. I think I have a few of the white ones left, but I didn't think it was enough for the kit. So that's how I did that one. And this dark cream color that is going to be red is right at, at, it's kind of a little bit on everything throughout here, so it'll take me a while to finish up this color. Um, this is still stiff. Uh, it's, I did, one thing that I have done is, um, I changed my needle for a size 28 needle peacemaker, and that has made it easier. I spent a lot of time trying to crinkle this thing up. I've wadded it up, I've rolled it up, I've twisted it. Uh, one of the things that does work that helps is I just take my thumbs like this and go like that in the area I'm fixing to stitch. And that, that also helps loosen it up. I just kind of wiggle it back and forth on every part of the grain that it can go. And I don't, I don't think it hurts it a bit, and it does help loosen it up. So, so those are the things that I have done to help this, to make it a little bit easier to sew on. I have recently gotten so many injuries. I guess you guys have noticed. I burnt my finger. I can't remember if I told you guys or not, but I make my own birthday cake whenever it's my birthday because there's a certain German frosting recipe that I like for my German chocolate cake. And I burned my fingers. And it all burst yesterday, blindly. And so it's been difficult to work with. Another day, I hurt my thumb. I was smashing down the cans in the recycling can bit. And another thing is, is there's a mess up with my medication for my psoriasis. So I've got sores. I, I have to twist around to show you all the sores on my arms. But some of them are open and weeping. I can't my, and then I realized just a little bit too late that I could have changed the address where that medicine was delivered to, but of course I didn't think of it till it's too late uh, because it's going to be here already tomorrow. But of all those injuries, the one that is hurting me the most is I have poke the needle through my calluses on my finger. <laughs> that is the most painful one of all of them. Which, and it makes it really hard to do the the sewing method. Because that's, that's the finger I, I poke through with, with the sewing method. So I'm trying to do it a little bit differently today. And I, I just don't do well with thimbles, so I didn't even bring one with me. I wonder if my sister has one over here. I didn't think about looking in her little sewing basket. 
let's see, the chance of it fitting my finger is so slim. You know, why do I think of this now, right? Okay, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything in here that will help me out. I don't think she uses a thimble either. But, anyway. I did wrap some of that uh, first aid tape around it. And that was helping me yesterday. I just I would have had to think of it before I started sewing. So, uh, that was also helping. But... I, the joys of stitching. Um, one of my viewers asked me about, I told you about the lamp that my sister has that I love and would love to have one of. So she wanted, she was asking a little bit more about it. And so I will stick in a picture right here of it. Um, and as I go through the, pictures I will try and explain uh, there is one where there's a there's a clamp and that clamp is strong enough to hold my cross stitch in it I have tried it I have worked with it and um, it, it does work I just I just after a little bit I just I'm used to sewing like this in hand and so that's what I did you know I just finally just pulled it out and did it that way but when I start doing working on some of those full coverages that would be so nice and handy I don't know if it's strong enough to hold that much fabric because I was doing it with Anna Green Gables then there's another one that is a magnifying glass and it's a ring light so it can come down and shine down on your uh, shine down on your fabric and um, as well as magnify it then there's an overhead light that can adjust you can bring it down as close to you if you want uh, I'm sorry I just keep hitting this camera but anyway so if when I think when I add those pictures in I if there's anything I think I'll add it on the very end of the video if there's anything I can think this is a hot light I don't even know if it's available anymore. It was, I mean, I've known about this light for a while, but a couple of years ago, it was still available. And I came awful close to buying it. But like I do, I have a floor light at home that really does work well. It just doesn't have all the other gadgets and stuff on it. Um, so I don't know. I think it's around $200 now. I noticed that I bought, when I first got into cross stitching again, I think it was about a year ago now. It probably was a year ago. It was probably when I came in house out for my sister last year. But um, I bought me a pair of those Ginger scissors. I don't have them here. They, I've lost them actually, but I, they're, I've lost them in my recliner. I haven't been able to locate them. <laughs> but they're, they're like this, only they're, they're gold. And when I bought them a year ago, they were twenty, twenty-one dollars, I think, somewhere in that range. Well, I noticed when I was at Joann's, they're now $30. So that's how much inflation has hit. Um, so, yeah, I got a 20% off coupon for Joann's. And I, I went 
And I thought, well, I need to use my coupon while I'm here, here in Corpus, you know. And so I went and I looked around and I, I saw some things I liked, you know. And I just, I realized that everything in my basket that I was getting, I was only getting it because I had a coupon. And I realized how silly that was, especially looking at my bank account. <laughs> that it was stupid to sit and spend that money just so I could save some. If I were able to buy a large ticket item like, say, an alt light, <laughs> that 20% off would come in very handy. Um, but as it was, I... It just wasn't worth it for to save what maybe thirty cents. I don't know. And so I put most of it back. I didn't put it all back, but I didn't use my coupon because it literally would have been thirty cents if I, you know. And I, I figured I'll either save it and give it to somebody who can use it that it would be worth something. Uh, maybe my sister or somebody like that. But the, the, the issue is, as it expires, I might get some money right before then, but I doubt it. I can't, I can't spend it on that. So because the credit that I have, I can't use in the store. Hey, maybe I could do it online. It does good things for me to talk to you guys because I just talked and solved that problem out. <laughs> I'll be looking online to see what I can do. But yeah, because my PayPal account, credit account, is I can really only use it online. I hate using it though because the interest is so horrible. The minimum payment just covers that the fees and all that stuff so I you know I, I have to pay more than I than my minimum payment on it so I yeah but I'm gonna go check that out that may be a solve that problem anyway so I did get a few things let me see I think I have that right here by me I, you know, things that I, I would definitely use, I, I got, I just got a couple of these Susan Bates hoops, uh, I like these, they have, they have a ridge in them that helps, helps hold, I got a couple of sizes, I have a problem with I, I like these because this side is solid and this side is fixed so this can't come off and I have a whole bunch that don't see it has a ridge right here that helps hold it I have a whole bunch of these that they're useless to me because I've lost these these parts and so Look, I already almost made this come off, so that's not going to stay there forever. i got to get it back on. So anyway, I got a couple of those in a couple of different sizes. I like, I like to use the smallest size hoop I can, but if it's a larger project, I do want it to be bigger. And this was a really cheap, and I thought it was cute. This was only like $3.99 for this pattern and I just thought that was cute and those are the colors in it so and it came with a needle as well so yeah so that's what I did instead of using my coupon So, 
Yesterday, I noticed that what I did was I did my minimum, you know, the ones that I had to, I say, my goal is to work on the nativity and the European town every day. And so I did, I did my strand of six on both of them. And then I just worked on Anna Green Gables the rest of the day. I thought I'd move on to this because that's what I do some days, but I pretty much finished out the day working on Anne, and I can't wait. I, I see the end to part one is in sight, and I think I just messed that stitch up really bad, so I'm going to back out. I heard, I can't remember who it was, they called it reverse their stitches. And I don't know what happened, but my video stopped, so I don't know exactly what I said. But anyway, I, I did, the last thing I said was somebody called it reverse in their stitches. And I said, that's better than what I do, I cuss. <laughs> And then I tried to back out by by stitching backwards, just taking the needle and re undoing it. And of course, 99% of the time that does not work because it just gets tangled in the cross that's already there. And so I had to, it still had to take the needle off and it was a much harder mess to get out of. But I straightened it out, and as you can see, I've actually done some more stitches before I noticed it was not recording. Hope I didn't say anything really important. But I do, there was one thing I wanted to add about the alt light. If, if you notice, there's, I don't know if you can see, I've got some stuff in it. But what I did is I had this big magnet. I don't, I don't even know where I got it, but it's like, uh, hmm. It's probably about two and a half inches long and an uh, inch wide and about a centimeter thick. And I've got that one in the clamp right now and that's where I put my scissors and my needle threader. So, and I just reach over and grab it, grab that stuff when I need it and then just put it back up there. And I thought that was a good use for a clamp if I wasn't gonna use it for my stitching. So, anyway, that's, here, I'll show you, maybe I'll show you, I don't want you to see all my mess, I don't want my sister to see all my mess, but, yeah, let's see, there we go, see, <laughs> competing goosenecks, there, that's, I, my scissors just stick to it. That pseudo thimble is worthless for me right now because it doesn't land where I want it to. But it helps in a pinch. Okay. So anyway, that gooseneck will also work for my holding my phone. I just couldn't get it at the right angle, so I used my my one that's meant for that purpose to to record with so anyway so I, I did get those stitches straightened out over there that I messed up and got a few more in I haven't really that's all I've done today while we dipper jabbered but I want to thank you all for joining me. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. That would just be awesome. Share, hit the like so that YouTube uh, will bring it to your attention when I put up another one. Uh, put the notification bell on and we can, you'll see me the next time around. Take care and I'll see you again in the next one. Okay, I went and researched it, and they do still have the light, and it's on sale for $178 right now. So, I'm going to go see what I can do. Thanks!